Alrighty, you guys. So um, let me pause this real quick. Yeah, so welcome back to day seven. I told y'all I was gonna forget whatever day it is that you see on the title. Hey, so <laughs> I just finished taking down my hair. I did a twist out. I don't know if I'm feeling it just yet because like I said, I, why is my thing wobbly? But like I said, I, um, I got my hair cut. So I got like three inches chopped off. I keep saying that. I'm pretty sure that people are like, girl, we don't see it. You see it because the top part of my hair stops like right here. Like I was saying, and the bottom part starts right here. So it looks a little weird when my hair is like naturally curly because it looks like you can see that it clearly stops like right here and then the rest is the back part. So you can tell what's the front and what's the back. So I'm not sure if she just cut like too much off and didn't necessarily like shape it the way that it needs to be shaped. But I think I might just try my best because I just took this out of the twist out and I stretched it as well. So the side part might give better. So anyways, I'm about to get dressed because I'm about to go to uh, Target and to the bank. And yeah, I'm just put a disclaimer out here. I don't be doing nothing. And I ain't gonna lie. I think I got ahead of myself with this whole Blocktober thing just because I don't be doing nothing. So it's just like, sometimes the vlogs that I post, like the regular vlogs that I post, that'd be like two weeks, two to three weeks worth of just like everything that I've done. So I don't really do everything. Like I don't do a lot every single day. Like the most, like, you know, the main YouTubers do or whatever, like the popular YouTubers, they don't really have a nine to five that they have to like keep their attention straight to. I do. So that's the difference. So I don't do anything like at two o'clock in the afternoon from five o'clock to then come home, take a nap, wake up, do something all the way until 4 a.m. Like, I don't do that because I have to go to work. So since I still have a full-time job, unfortunately, I am trying to work around my hours. So I'm pretty sure that was a little bit TMI, but I really don't care because y'all just, I feel like I just needed to say it. See, I don't know what's going on with my hair. This is why people don't do twist outs. But anyways, um, so yeah, I'm about to go to Target because I was going to try that Airwick TikTok thing, but it's not giving her because I seen Naturally Sunny do it and it did not work for her. So I was going to do it if it worked for her. I ain't going to hold you. I was, but it did not. So I'm not going to do it. I'm probably just going to get some because I do need some for my home in general. So I'm probably going to do that. So and also, and sometime this month, I am going to go to Ikea and get a mattress from them and a bed frame from them just because I need to update this that that gotta go I've been having it for too long so I am going to get a new mattress I just need to go feel the mattress first because I have a sensitive back and I don't like stuff that's too firm or too soft so I need to actually lay on the mattress and punch it a couple of times you know like normal people do to really see how firm or like medium firm or soft firm or whatever the foam mattresses that ikea is instead of just buying it online you know so i found an actual bed frame that i want to get i'll insert it right here and i want to get that one and it is probably going to be too low but it all depends because i have a box spring so if it is low with just the mattress then i'll put the box spring under it because i don't like my bed to be low to be completely honest i feel like if i turn off if i if my feet is not hanging off to the bed then it's too low i mean if it is too then it's high enough for me if it's if it, it's not hanging off the bed and as soon as i turn around I, my feet touch the ground so as i get out of the bed then it's too low i don't like low beds but anyways so all that to say i'm about to go to the bank possibly um go to target i really don't need nothing that's the problem like i don't need anything i just be going and shopping and spending money on stuff that i don't really need what i need to get is more furniture pieces so i can get rid of these boxes that's what i need to get okay y'all so i ended up going to dollar tree and i went to um michael's just to get some things i'll show y'all when i get home but now i'm about to go to starbucks to try out the drink that everyone has been talking about on Instagram. 
uh, pumpkin foam cream thingies, whatever. So I'm gonna try that drink out. I'm not really a coffee drinker, so we're gonna see. Cause I think it's like a, I don't think it's coffee though. I think it's like a chai tea latte. So, but we're gonna see how it tastes. So I'm about to go in here and order it up. And I'll let y'all know, I'm gonna go home after this. So I'll let y'all know how it tastes when I get to the crib. Okay, y'all, I had to, I know I said I was gonna wait till I get back to the house, but I had to come over here because that was the just the most utmost ghettoest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. So I'm just gonna put on my hand sanitizer and I got one more stop to make until I go home. And girl, what? First of all, I walked up in there, shawty talking, giving girls, adding milk and stuff. I'm just like, is y'all at home or is y'all at work? I'm trying to figure it out. Then, she over here, um, gonna come out the little bathroom thing. First of all, I went to the bathroom. This is how I know I should have just walked out because I went to the bathroom and the bathrooms were locked. Like, I don't know about y'all where y'all from or where I'm from. If the bathroom is locked, that's in a Starbucks that got nice bathrooms. That means that it'd be some people that be going in the bathrooms and they don't want them to go in the bathrooms anymore. That means that it just be random people always walking up. Like, you know, it could be homeless people. It can be addicts. It can be whoever just walking up and just going in their restroom and they don't want that no more. Really. That's the only reason why people like they like lock their bathrooms where I've noticed and where I'm, where I'm from. With that being said, the bathroom had a code on it. So I'm just like, okay, that's weird. But then I'm like, mm, it do be a lot of little stragglers around here or whatever. So that means that, where am I about to go? I'm tripping. That means that they got a lot of people who try to use their bathrooms and they don't want them to use their bathroom anymore. So that's one thing. Then when I get out of the bathroom now, so now I have to use the restroom and now I have to wait to use the restroom. Then now I got a place to order and normally they don't have the croissants that I like because it's a breakfast thing and everybody gets them during breakfast time. That's understandable. I don't really care. So now I'm, now I'm asking for the drink. And with the mask that I have, this little thick mask that I got from when I went to California, the Chanel one, it's very, it is very thick and it's hard to hear my voice because it muffles it a little bit. So that's why y'all, that's why I was pulling it up if y'all see me do that. So... She act like she couldn't hear me for one. I don't like repeating myself. That's a pet peeve of mine. I do. I really do not like repeating myself. So she act like she couldn't hear me. But again, I know it's probably because of the mask. So I'm pulling the mask up so she can hear me. And then I'm literally saying everything that I want and she's asking me the same questions that I just said. I'm like, bro, you're not even listening. Like you're not, you're not even here. Your mind is not, not on taking my order, first of all. And before even that, there was a girl that literally walked out. Shawty like walked out of the back and said, hey, how are you doing? And I said, hey, and I spoke and she just kept walking. Hi. She didn't take my order. She didn't do nothing. She literally just kept walking to the other side where the where the drive through window is and went back to the back. And then on their little headsets, their little black headsets, they talking shit to each other on there like I wasn't gonna pick that up because there's only three bitches up in there. And one of them is making the drinks. Other one is taking the order and also running around and the other one, she just disappeared. So it's just like, so who's actually working here? Just her. So now, I, she started laughing or whatever. Like she, I heard her giggle a little bit, and I was like, "What the hell, is she laughing at?" And I guess the girl who went to the back was talking crap because they can all hear each other on there. And this is how I know they can hear each other on there because when she had to walk me, she had to walk me to the restroom. Like, what, bro? I'm grown as hell. How the you do not have to walk me to no restroom break. Like I'm a two year old toddler who don't know how to find their way. Like what? Girl, 
no ma'am no ma'am so when that happened i was just like what so as she walking me to the restroom she literally clicked the headset talking about some so you can go ahead and take your last break right now because i gotta take inventory and i'm just like so y'all sitting up here talking to each other on the headset literally talking to each other on the headset and now that explains why that girl was giggling because there wasn't nobody around her what you laughing at nobody was around her so she listening to her and she just probably talking crap and i'm just like it's not professional at all and one another pet peeve about me i don't like unprofessional people like when i realized that the doors was locked to the restroom i should have left period because that just lets me know the type of vibe that y'all said in so the moral of the story is it was giving ghetto and i just i ain't saying you know the ghetto is this and that and the third and downplaying it or whatever but i'm just saying that in a professional manner be professional like girl please but the moral of the story is let's try the drink because i haven't even tried it yet um I got a tall because I realized that when she started talking and she was not understanding what I was saying, y'all not about to fuck up my shit. Because I don't, that's the one thing I don't play about either. I don't play about my time, I don't play about my money. You're not about to sit up here and act like you didn't hear what I said and then mess up my drink. But the girl who was laughing because of her co worker, she actually made it pretty darn good. It looks good to me. And that's why I just got a tall because I'm just like, and I ain't even get no straw. Okay, it's good. I don't taste no coffee, but I don't taste no the actual drink either. So what I'm about to do is take this little straw. I always got stuff in my uh, glove department. I'm gonna take this little Smoothie King straw and I'm gonna drink out of that because I don't taste the actual like, all I taste is the cold cream foam because it's right at the top. So the cold cream foam is pretty good. But, let me see here. I kind of want some Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I want Chick-fil-A. Let's go get some Chick-fil-A. Anyways, let me taste it now. I can dig it. This is good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. I can get a... Um, Grande maybe whenever I go back because I ain't gonna lie I'm taking a break from Starbucks so it's gonna be a while anywho I'm about to go actually no I need to go home and make my food because I need to start eating at home when I got at home so I'm about to go and defrost my salmon and make some salmon broccoli and jasmine rice that's what we're gonna eat for dinner tonight so I'll see y'all when I get home because it is getting dark outside it's good to come outside. All right, y'all. So I'm back from the stores. Starbucks. I have to show y'all what I got. So I went to Michael's and I got this little pumpkin candle. That's so cute for the holiday season. I got some popsicle sticks because I'm going to start a self care slash thingy that I see on TikTok where you just hold on, hold on it's too loud. where you just like write on the popsicle sticks and put them inside of a um, mason jar. So I got that and then also I got another candle. This is the Fondry Candle Bougie Fondry Company. Rosewood Vanilla Soy Blend Candle. 8 ounce. I got this candle from Michaels as well too. Both of these were five dollars, and this one smells so good. So I got those two to add to my collection. Um, I got some bleach from the Dollar Tree. I needed to clean out my tub and my bathroom. I got some dryer sheets. I don't really normally use dryer sheets, but I need to start using them. Act like I don't have nice clothes. So I got that for my wash and then I got some more um this is like soap basically 
because I ran out. Like the only ones that I have left is whatever is left in my sponge, which is this much. That's all I have. So needed some more of those. So I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. And then I got a toilet brush from the Dollar Tree as well, just because I haven't found one that I really truly like that like goes with the aesthetic for my bathroom. They always like silver black or like too like glam and I don't really like none of those so I just said forget it because I haven't gotten one in a very long time just because I was looking for a certain one so I just said forget it and got the cheap one I guess first for now I got some more AAA batteries because um these little like oh where is this right here where is it oh there it is so these little like push lights that I got from also from the this thing work bro Anyways, these push lights that I got, I put them on the top of like my counters. Let me show y'all my cabinet. So this one goes like you can see. This one goes like right there. But when I was like pushing it, it wasn't pushing, and I guess it's because it wasn't uh, screwed on all the way or like tightened on all the way, girl. Cause like normally when I go in the kitchen. I go like this, and I just start, because I kind of don't turn on the light, basically. I'm trying to conserve my lights, because I paid my light bill now, not my mama. So, I was going to put, like, these little lights all right here. So, I'm going to put, like, one right here, and then one right here. So, there's going to be four total down here, and then on the other side, I'm going to put one and one, because the microwave already has a light. So, I got some more AAA batteries, because I've been bought those, um, those push lights. I just needed some more batteries because they take three per light. And that's, I feel like that's a lot. But yeah, so this was like one, two, three. This is like for four lights. I bought enough batteries for four lights. And then the last thing I got was a permanent marker to write on the sticks pretty much. So now I'm about to wait till my salmon defrosts so I can, uh, y'all quickie. Yeah, I'm about to wait till my salmon defrosts so I can cook. I'll see y'all. October day 10 I think so what I'm about to do is basically do a complete Sunday reset because I had a very long week at work in personal life so well I got a piece of hat on right now but it's about it so we're gonna start with the kitchen I finally put my water cooler up yesterday um, but yeah so I'm gonna start this Sunday reset. I'm basically just gonna clean my entire place from top to bottom. And I'm gonna semi meal prep for like two days just because I do actually need to go to the store. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do it today though, just because I really don't feel like going nowhere today. I just wanna be in my house and just reset. So that's what we're about to do. So before we get to this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notifications. That way, your girl gets notified every time you're gonna post a new video. Without further ado, let's get into the video.
Okay, y'all, so change of plans a little bit. I started cleaning up a little bit just to get some stuff going, but now I am being taken out to go get some breakfast because it's still eight o'clock in the morning. And yeah, so I'm on the way to, I think we're gonna go to first watch. So that's where we're about to go now. I guess it's still a part of my Sunday reset because I still gotta eat. And I probably wasn't gonna eat till like 12, mess around with me because once I start cleaning, I won't stop. So um, yeah, I'm still in the middle of doing my hair, but this is as good as it gonna get. I don't know where this big old pimple just came from. Like, just, well, you just wake up with pimples, but yeah. I don't know if I should put a scarf on or what, but yep, we finna go to first watch, so. So I just got back home. I am still in the middle of cleaning. I just put all of my new bottles up. Um, I'm probably gonna show y'all that later just because I still haven't gotten the labels yet. I thought I did, but I didn't. I only got them for the hair products and my little shirt. So y'all look low down there though. So what I'm about to do now is put these little dishes inside of my dishwasher. Cause you know, we're trying to maintain over here hun. trying to maintain the place and not get it all you know messed up all right y'all so i want to show y'all these push lights that i got from the dollar tree they only took like three AAA batteries so i just want to show y'all what they look like in my apartment you know just going for that more aesthetic vibe look so just showing y'all it's probably going to look different with the lights actually off or at nighttime but right now it's giving very much high class over here 
but yeah so this is what it looks like i just taped them on there and i was just showing you all the window and how it's like light inside but now i'm about to mop these floors so i can get done with this cleaning hun because it takes forever in a day